Javi Garrido and Mike Janguas will play together in 2024 and they are gonna be one of the new couples with the most projection and ambition of all. Why are they joining forces and what are their strengths and weaknesses? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new Force set. To understand why Javi and Mike are joining in 2024, we need to understand first what happened in 2023. They have probably been two of the players with more teammates in the whole season. And let's start the recap with Javi Garrido that started the season with Federico Chingotto. They got two quarterfinals and a semifinals as they bear results before Fede got a call from Paquito Navarro. That was Javi's first change of partner. So after that, he will manage to play with John Sanz and together they will have very good results, establishing themselves as a quarterfinal pair. But John Sanz will have the opportunity to play with his crush, Koki Nieto, and he didn't waste it. In this way, Javi was confident to play with Lucas Campagnolo until the Brazilian player got injured. We were in July and Javi had already three different teammates. But that's when Momo Gonzalez appeared and accept the most difficult challenge of his career, playing on the right side of the court. With that bet, Javi would find stability for the last part of the season in terms of partner and results, reaching several quarterfinals. And for Mike Young, was the situation was not gonna be very different. He will start the season with Alex Arroyo in a similar project that makes youth and offensive play and achieve good results. But look how life is. Paquito Tello decided to separate, which directly affected Garrido because Paco called Chingoto. But it also affected Mike Yanguas because Tello forced the breakup of the Alex Momo couple. Momo being free was gonna be Yanguas' partner for a project that last one tournament. Because although they won the World Pile Tour Reus, Sanju Gutierrez called Momo and convinced him to join forces. But fortunately for Yanguas, this time he will not be alone. The boss Fernando Velasteguin called Yanguas and he didn't say no. However, and despite achieving good results together, the Yanguas Bell adventure has not been as successful as everyone expects. Bella's injuries has made it impossible for this couple to compete in many tournaments. For example, Yanguas had to play in the Master Final with Sanjo Gutierrez. But before that last tournament with Sanjo, this is the emotional farewell with Bella. Me llevo la frescura de un chico joven eh, adentro de la cancha, pero por sobre todas las cosas me llevo a afuera de la cancha eh, un chico muy educado, eh, muy simpático, que se ha sabido ganar mi corazón y el de mi familia y yo me quedaría con eso. ¿Cómo ves todavía? Eh, Para que se me emociona el compañero. Sí, ella está, ella va un poquito, sí. And this was Mike's farewell to Bella. Hola Fer, bueno, eh, quería aprovechar eh, simplemente para darte las gracias por este año. La verdad que ha sido algo increíble para mí poder jugar contigo y compartir muchas más cosas aparte del pádel. Eh, gracias por abrirme las puertas de tu casa, por compartir tantas cosas con tu familia, eh, por, bueno, por el día a día juntos, por hacerme mejor persona, mejor profesional. Eh, y bueno, creo que he aprendido muchas cosas este año. Me llevo muchas cosas buenas, pero sobre todo las cosas que hemos acabado nuestra etapa, eh, hemos tenido lesiones, eh, hemos tenido momentos duros de cada uno y, y hemos acabado como un gran equipo. O sea que le doy las gracias de corazón. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want an English interview with Garrido and Yanguas. And that is the main reason why we have today Yanguas and Garrido playing together in 2024. The projection and ambition of both players are the same. And remember that the next season in 2024 is going to be the most important season ever because it's going to be the first full season of Premier Padel. So both need a partner with the same ambition and goals. A partner that physically allows them to compete at their highest level. Remember that Garrido is 23 years old and Yang was 21. In fact, they will be the youngest couple of all the top with an average age of 22 years. And the best season of their career has been this year. Actually, both players made their debut in the Master Final Barcelona this season. But it was not only their ambition and motivation that brought Yang was and Garrido together, but also what could have happened and didn't happen because the separation of Lebron and Galan will affect many players, including Garrido and Yanguas. But what are the strengths of this new pair? In my opinion, first of all, is the fast game, because on Garrido's side, we find one of the best masters of the tour. I will include him in the top six behind Tapia, Coelho, Galan, Ausburger, and Stupa. And on the other side, on Yanguas' side, we find one of the best Víboras of the tour. In fact, look at the physical evolution of Yang was in recent months. It is noticeable that he is gaining muscle to be more explosive. And in my opinion, there are two players that can play in a similar game style than Coelho Tapia or Tejo and Alex Ruiz. So what will be their natural habitat? 
in my opinion, the fast courts. And the first tournament of the season in Riyadh, we can expect to be a fast court so they can have a very promising debut. For me, another important key point of the couple is their physical condition. Yanguas is 1.89 meters and Garrido 1.84, so they will also be one of the couples with the highest average height of all. I highlighted before the Yanguas physical evolution, but pay attention to Garrido's, because he even has an Instagram profile where he shows his diet and his recipes in eating Garrido. The couple Garrido Yanguas will not be among the top eight couples in the world. But in 2024, this won't be a problem as before, because in Premier Paddle, it is just as important to be the 10th couple or the 15th to avoid facing a higher ranked couple in the first round. But let's start analyzing the weak points of this couple, because if I said before that the natural habitat of this couple are the fast courts, they can suffer more in slow courts. And if we look at the calendar after their debut in Riyadh, come the mayor of Qatar, Acapulco and Puerto Cabello, there are three tournaments that a priori are are expected to be quite slow. Another point that generates me doubts is about the leadership on this couple. Something similar happened last year between Yanguas and Arroyo. Two very young players joined and neither of them had a clear leadership role in the couple. Therefore, I can expect something similar between Garrido and Yanguas. But will they be able to manage the bad moments or the pressure on court? Let's remember that only Javi Garrido has reached a final in his career. So in those moments, the coach will be needed. And by the moment, Yanguas has been training with Juan Imieres and Garrido with Rodrigo Vide. But now the question is, what results will Garrido and Yanguas get? It is really difficult to bet on what is going to be the most difficult and impressive season of history of Padre. And a priori, there are three couples above the rest. Coelho Tapia, Stupa Dineno and Lebron Galán. Those three should fight for the number one and then comes the rest. Paquito Sanjo, Tello Alex Ruiz and why not Garrido Yanguas. The margin of improvement of both players individually and as a couple is very high. The normal thing would be that this year they will overcome their level again and achieve even better results. This couple should aim to reach at least quarterfinals in each tournament. But the doubt that I have regarding this couple is not about the results, but if they are gonna steal all the season together. Because in the end, there are two very interesting players for a higher ranked player to call either one of them. Think that in 2023 season, only Coelho and Tapia, Stupan Dineno and Lebron Galan started the season together and ended together. So if I have to bet on Garrido's Yanguas couple, I will say that they can be six couple of the year. So what do you think? Do you like the new couple Garrido and Yanguas? Leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one. Ciao.